Welcome everyone, Adam DeWoo here as the recording of this Saturday, July 16th, 2022. Starting here on Market Street at the Fountain, right here at Market Square, even though it's kind of a circle. Nonetheless, heading over to St. Petersburg today, Tropicana Field will wearing an appropriate t-shirt. This will be my first time back to watch the Rays at home since almost a three month road trip. And I am not driving, I am being picked up by a friend and then meeting more friends at the stadium. I'm inviting you to join me. It's gonna be a fun day, shall you? Still got about five hours until first pitch and who knows where the wind will blow on the way over there. You can see by this clock here, it is 11, almost 11 a.m., a couple minutes shy of 11 a.m. Got someone on a bicycle there and the dog is chasing them with the hour hand. All right, I am now on I-4 westbound, cruising along in the Splorin' Mobile. Splorin'. We're now driving to meet up at a shopping center, which is located where the old Circus World used to be, and boardwalk and baseball way back in the day, the 80s, I believe. Now there's condos going up. And I've learned, Ryan, also exploring Ryan is here, wearing an appropriate t-shirt as well. You got yeah. the Florida and the heart and the baseball. I've learned when you got to carpool and meet up with others, we rode together. We're going to pick up Greg here. Mm -hmm. It's always good to meet in a parking lot that is filled with lots of cars. So you're, the other people's cars blend in. Carpooling. Now I don't even know, what's the, what's the total of people we're going to have today? Once, once uh, everyone. Five that I'm aware of. Five. So I'm me, yep. you, yep. Greg. Yep. Tampa J and Chris the girl. Chris the girl. So there'll be five of us. And while we're over here, we're gonna take a look at some of the sports cards here. I've started to get back into baseball cards again. So I might at some point have to get some of these wax packs through here. I like the Topps Heritage right here. $5.99. Prices have gone up since the, the 80s and 90s when I used to collect them when a pack of baseball cards was like a buck. There's Shohei. So Shohei is so good from the Angels. He's on here twice. Now inside here, there's a retro phone stand. What'd you find, Ryan? It is a vlogging ring light. No uh -oh. no uh, self-respecting vlogger can go without the ring light. a vlogging ring light. All right, you gotta buy that? No. But I'm noticing this has a strawberry and blackberry flavor to it. I thought it was just gonna be standard water, but yeah, I'm here for it. I'll give it a try. All right, moving on. Sandhill cranes. What is the official state bird? Now that I say that, are they the official state bird? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are? And not wearing an appropriate t-shirt. <laughs> it's Greg. <laughs> Hi, how's everything going? So you're wearing the, the Cardinals gear tonight yes. as well. We I thought you bought a raise cap last time. I did buy a raise cap, but yes. I feel like I need to be loyal to the cards. Even though I'm going to a raise game, so I'm playing... still gonna represent. You realize they're playing the Orioles today. That's okay. They're still birds. <laughs> this is not Greg from uh, Adventures by No, George. it's now Greg's oh, yeah. game room. Greg's, Greg's game, game room. room. You are now just a one channel guy. That's right. This is what I like to call a transition. A little driving angle here. On our way to a mall in Tampa. And passing by this empty random boat. I think it used to be a restaurant of some sort. Just a full-on boat over there. Take a look at this. Raise up. The city skyline of Tampa. Gonna go through Tampa. Well, gonna meet up at a mall in Tampa and then head over across the St. Pete Bridge. I parked over here. I'm noticing this. This appears to be Wanda Franco up here on the billboard. Look at that. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's Wander's gloves. All right, ended up stopping inside the mall where they have a Dick's Sporting Goods. And inside here, they actually, in, in the past, they have not had that much Tampa Bay Rays stuff, but they have a good a plethora assortment of different merchandise for the Rays, including hats, jerseys, t-shirts, things like that, even a hot dog shirt, which I'm not gonna get. Also tonight, I'm not gonna be getting any hot dogs at the stadium. I'm trying to eat a little bit better. I uh, might get a little snack if they have something healthy, but just gonna, gonna go hot, hot dogless. The shirt was very tempting to get and they have a little bit better prices than they have at the team store at the Trop inside Dick's Sporting Goods. And I also picked up a piping hot caffeinated beverage from a place called Blind Tiger inside the mall itself, which every time I 
in, ended up meeting anyone here to carpool over to the stadium. I always go inside the Blind Tiger and get a coffee. Yes, pretty tasty, pretty tasty coffee here. And have now met up with another friend, Tampa J. Welcome to the West Shore Plaza Mall. What's the name of this mall? West Shore Plaza. West Shore yeah. Plaza Mall. I actually used to work here back in the day. You worked here? I worked here for a company called Express. All right. Briefly, briefly. You're going yeah. to the game today too? That's right. I got my coffee right As here. well as Chris, Chris the girl. girl. Cheers. Cheers. You went with the little blind tiger action. There's going to be five of us at the game. What is that? It's actually a dirty tiger. T-H-A-I. It's a Thai tea. Okay. What did you get? Plain boring coffee. But it That's what I got. Yep. Plain boring coffee. Cheers number two. And even though we are going to a stadium full of food, it seems, Ryan, you have gone with a Charlie's grilled, grilled chicken. Grilled chicken sandwich. And you also went with a little takeout from the food court as yes. well. Yes, I did. All right, we're now leaving the mall. Gonna make the commute over the bridge to St. Pete. Bridge All right, Ryan, you ended up getting a little merchandise from the store. How much was the hat? Uh, about 30 bones. Okay, that's probably comparable, maybe a little less expensive than the team store would be yeah, that's what at the trot. And I don't have to wait in the line now. That's true, no line at all. You're still wearing a Cardinals hat. And now going over the very lengthy bridge. And it almost looks like they're building a secondary bridge over to the side of this one. Okay, we have found some off-site parking for only $10 over here. And we're about to have a reveal. Oh my gosh. Are you wearing a Cleveland jersey? I think he's doing a little, <laughs> Come on. A little Major League action. <laughs> Spore and Ryan. Oh my nice. gosh. Nice, you got the glasses too. It's Vaughn. And this is located right next to the Sunshine Kitty Cafe, C A T F E. It's a cafe full of cats. Only ten dollars to park over here, as opposed to twenty twenty five dollars to park at the Trop. So trying something different, a little hack. It's going to be kind of unusual for me because I've been going to so many away games to hear people cheering for the Rays. Because I've been to so many away games. Back at home, Tropicana Field, Trop. And this will also be a bobblehead giveaway. Wander Franco, who's on the IL right now. He has a bobblehead. Well, not him personally, but the team is giving away one with his likeness on it. First 5,000 people in, which means I'm probably gonna get a bobblehead. It is now about 2.30, give or take. So about eight minutes, the gates will open 90 minutes prior to first pitch, you know, give or take. But I never realized that there was a Raymond's Rock Garden over here. When did you guys discover this was here? Last time Last we were here. Couple Last time. Chris sought it out. All we passed by her a lot. But never I never knew about Raymond's Rock Garden before. Rocks. Yeah, this whole place rocks. Now when you have that on, you have the glasses on, do you feel more like Charlie Sheen than you do when you're not wearing them? I'm afraid, I'm afraid to answer that question with Charlie's recent history. Are you winning? <laughs> the tiger's blood. It's pure, oh. unadulterated sheen. Oh, okay. I got blind tiger. Sheen. What was that? Pure, unadulterated sheen. And because we parked in that one area, I've never entered through gate six before. Usually I go through the front, this time, going around through Here gate number go. six. Gates are open. And I should also mention it's like high 90s right now with yeah. maybe possibly be a chance of rain. So I am very grateful to be inside this, going inside this dome. Yeah. Tropicana Fields. I love it. All right, made it through the checkpoint and it looks like Kiermaier here. I think I'm gonna put thoughts in his head, but I think he's thinking, why don't I have a bobblehead? Kiermaier wants to have a bobblehead, but it's not Kiermaier night. It is Wander night. Hello. Hello. Look at this. Wander Franco bobblehead. Yes, I've been looking forward to this. This is a good return to the trop. Getting a sweet bobblehead here of Wander. Now this is pretty cool. There's like a little new museum in here with a lot of artifacts all kind of scattered through here and a lot of other bobbleheads that are kind of tucked away in here. We've got a little walk-off bat here, Longoria. Right here, this is the walk-off, 2011 walk-off bat. And this area is all blocked off, but the Wade Boggs statue is back. They had removed it for a while, but Wade Boggs is back. We even got some game-used dirt there, G-Man Choice disinfectant spray, game-used bases, programs. 
Yeah, this is so cool. They added all this in. Batting helmet, field dirt. And upon entering, the one and only DJ Kitty. Oh, how have I missed my favorite mascot ever. DJ Kitty sporting it right here, saying hello to everyone as they're walking in. And then also going to go inside the team store, which it looks as if they're probably going to have some new merchandise for the Tampa Bay Ray team store, including hats and jerseys, merchandise, things like that. You know, it's kind of scattered through the team store. I always like to look for new stuff that I probably don't necessarily need, but it's fun to have. I like to have a lot of a lot of Rays gear to sport and represent, including they also have some baseball cards, team set cards as well. And then going to also look, go over and look at the Rays themselves, the the fish and the animals swimming around in the water, the, the actual legit Tampa Bay Rays, which are kind of swimming around in the middle, middle of center field. I also want to zoom in and point at exactly where I'm going to be sitting up in the, the party area, the party section, not the party zone, but you know, it's like a, it's a whole party up there in, in left field all the way up top. So we're going to go up there for a little bit and just see what happens throughout the course of the game. And got my bobbleheads down inside this bag, which I purchased as well. And they ended up picking up one of those 2022 team sets and Wander's Rookies right there on the front of it, which is pretty nice. And now making my way up to the upper, 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 upper deck to the seats. I'm really hoping 2022 events something like this and part. So this is how this works. We leave this area here where there is just a sea of people and we go out, back out, gate six again, but we're not gonna go outside. We're gonna go up, 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 and up, and up, and up, and up. But you gotta go outside to get to this kind of a little tucked away ramp out here. You gotta go up and down through this ramp and then through that door that's gonna be up there. Oh, that's the word I was looking for. Deck, the party deck. 300 level, party deck. All right, first pitch is about to happen. Also, Brandon Lau is back off the IL. First time Brandon's been in a game in quite some time. First pitch, grounded to short, over to first, got it. And just like that, the Rays are now up. Look at all the banners here. And the C ring, there's three rings, A, B, and C ring. There was a wild pitch and the Rays just scored. I wanted to point out this little snack bar area down here and this little seating section. Home run hit there last night, just shy of the foul pole. Rays hit a home run and smashed into the food at the snack bar. It was really close to being a foul, but it ended up being a home run. Oh yeah, Randy! Go, go, go! Oh! Wow, Ronnie's holding him up at third. That's surprising. One thing I do like about the chop is you can get unlimited hey, refills on the soda. And I'm not trying to drink any soda. I'm trying to... Ryan also got some peanuts as well, which I'm trying to stay clear of. I know if I eat one, I will just have like seven bags. They're like uh, one Same. of those chips, you can't just eat one. They even have a program here called Inside Pitch for the W. I didn't even realize places had paper programs anymore, but this is the night I'm here, the Wander. We'll take it, we'll take it. Get it, you got it. Yeah. Holy cow. There's also a Devil's Ray throwback night they're gonna have with the jersey and or a little, looks like a cooler there. That's coming up on August 20th versus Kansas City. And there's even an insert here where you can keep up with your own scorecard. I always like when I see people with their number two pencils or pens doing the scorecards. And look at look at Brandon Lau here dressed as a farmer holding a bunny rabbit. What's the deal with that? That's interesting. This is the dirt on Brandon Lau. Yeah, look at this right here. Jay, did you know Brandon Lau is a farmer and holds bunny rabbits in a pitchfork? I did not know that. Yeah, something you learn. Something you learned up here like in the old McDonald's. Yeah. Brandon Lau had a farm. And just to show, it's about halfway through this, a little past halfway through the season. All star break. Previous play is under review. Orioles tried to steal second. They got him at second and called him out, but now the Orioles dug out. Want to review it, see what happens. All right. He's out. They called him out. Call stands. If you look closely in the center of the screen through those doors, you can see it is pouring rain outside. Also, Brandon allows back up. Oh, dropped it! Dropped it! Woo! That was a lucky one. Race 
four. The race. Oh, that's gone, Randy. That's gone, baby. Of these seats up here, they're not the most comfortable because they're just they're just bleacher style seats. So not the most comfortable. But I'm also noticing in the closed section up top, way up there above the blue seats, are also bleacher seats. Now, obviously, they made it to the World Series. That might be the only time, or maybe the ALCS, that those seats would be completely filled up. this angle you got the soda bottle top right there but then you can also see the c-ring this is really quiet this is like tucked away over here in this corner oh that's a base hit oh they gotta go in go randy throw it in up oh, he scored the Orioles scored Double play, double play. Got it. Double play. And I always love watching the mascot races. Got Raymond, DJ, Kitty, the mascot for the soccer team here in town. Running the mascot races, and it looks as if DJ Kitty was the winner. And Greg has gone with the hot dog, doubling down with the mustard and the ketchup. Some people are mustard people, some people are ketchup people. You are both. And relish. You're going, you are relishing the thought of consuming that dog. You're gonna what? I'm gonna woof it down. You're gonna woof it down. I'm gonna woof the dog down. You're gonna woof it down. Yeah. What does that con what does that consist of? Just woofing it? Yeah. I think you woofed it down Shove last time. Shove it in as hard as you oh, can. You just, that, that's, did you guys get nachos down there? We got nachos yeah. in a bag. Nachos in a bag, a little bit of cheese. And this big old tray. And of course, no nachos for hot dog. And that's something that's gonna make me very intelligent. <laughs> Third time to charge. Third time to charge. Randy up here. Randy. Oh, man. Oh, Randy. Randy. Give him a little toss up. Someone got themselves. Oh, that's two times, Randy. There we go. Everybody's waiting out here, Randy. Everybody's waiting. Everybody's waiting, Randy. The umps are thinking, come on, Randy. And the rays are back up. I just think how delicious it would be to stick a straw right in the middle of an orange like that. I think it's, it sounds like it's stormy outside again. Doesn't it sound like rain is hitting the top? Does it sound like that? You would never know it inside here though, right? Just, you can hear the thunder. Are you listening for it? This is the radar at the moment. Oh yeah, it's right above us. Well, just kind of going in and out, but it's right above us at the moment. Look at that. Ooh, I can hear it, you can hear the thunder. Oh, it's See, right over us. All right, there it goes again. The wave is beginning. The wave, the wave. The wave. gonna drop. Oh yeah! Go, 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 go! That's a double. Taylor Walls. Yeah, take a look at the roof of the trop. Look at this. The wind is blowing the roof of Tropicana Field. Look at that. It's like stirring around. I don't think I've ever seen it like that before. Just like rippling. Oh, I just saw some lightning up there. Is the roof dripping? Yep. Listen to that thunder. Did you just get dripped on? You got wet? Is the roof leaking? Okay, I had to come up here to this window and peek outside just to show what it's like. Kind of outside there with the rain really coming down. You can really hear the thunder. Rain's kind of going sideways. A lot of lightning and thunder. Full effect happening out there.
And also while I'm peeking out there, the grounds crew, one of the grounds crew guys likes to dance at certain times, just kind of dancing out here above the diamond and really kind of some extreme dancing. I, if I did that, I would definitely pull a muscle of some sort. I would not be able to probably walk the next day, but he is just full on dancing. Not even bothered by the storm that's like going on outside. Now making his way off, off the field. Everyone giving him a, ra a riveting round of applause on the way out. Gotta love it. And it looks like Raymond is walking around down there as well. Yeah, I saw DJ Kitty now, Raymond. I don't think I've ever seen the banners bouncing like that. Hey, uh, I don't know what's going on down here in the bullpen. And it sounds like Cowbell Max is out in right tonight too. I can't hear the cowbell. And the thunder. Shock him out. Now I've just put it into the universe that Randy will try to steal second. See if I'm right. Josh. Oh, there he goes. See, he called it. There you go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get back there. Get back, Randy. You got second. Woo! He is aggressive. I like how aggressive he is, but woo! I knew it. I told you he was going to steal second. Yep. I called it. Yep. Always. Always with the steal. Almost slipped up there at second, though. Randy. Give me a heart palpitation. <laughs> Oh look, they're looking at the roof. It's raining on the up. The ground is wet at second. Look at that. They're looking at the roof. That was weird. The roof must be leaking there. How strange was that? Oh, Randy just tried to steal third and they got him out. Randy. He's aggressive. Got a wave going through. Got the wave. Woo. You don't see the wave too often at the trot. There's usually not enough people here, but there is tonight. There it goes. There it is. hitters in. Luke Rayleigh has come in with two outs, two base runners on base, down by two. All comes down to this out. There it is. Ah, Orioles win. Dang. That was a little disappointing, obviously, when the team you're rooting for loses, but nonetheless, still fun time. Even got to watch 11 full innings of baseball, and it came really down. I'd rather really like to watch a really close game when it comes down to the last couple of moments. Kind of gets your heart pumping and the blood flowing. And now heading back out into the rain. It's not pouring like it was. It's just kind of misting, but heading back down. A little circle here. Whatever you do, don't look down. And thankfully the stroll back to the car won't be too intense as far as rain goes. Just kind of kind of misting out here. 
But that's the little platform. There we walked up. Gate six, Tropicana Field. And that's gonna do it for today from Tropicana Field, the home of the Rays. It was fun. I am now, I don't wanna say this is the completion of my road trip to go to Rays home and away, ga or away games, but I could not come back into town and not immediately go to a Rays home game. So I did, I decided to kind of end that. The All-Star break's coming up. I probably will not go to a trot game till after the All-Star break. I'll go to another one at some point. Nothing immediately, but down the road. No away games on my agenda. But I will come back to the trot at some point. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.